the market's starting to pick up right now, so people are getting so, so. out there and yeah. it's getting a little busy. I've been out showing condos and they're not lasting because there's, there's a lot of people in that price range and especially a lot of people that are downsizing are now looking for condos. So if you're looking for a condo, you can't say, oh, let's go on Saturday. You gotta go the day it comes go. out. Yeah. You have to, <clears throat> the most important thing is to have all your paperwork organized before you go out. Get your mortgage done, get the commitment letter, make sure everything is in place. Uh, you know, get your de deposit in the bank because you know you have to be showing that deposit in your bank uh, because of this whole government fin track thing, tracking your money. And uh, you know, just be ready to make a move because they're, they're not lasting. Even like, ones that need work that are like from this like condo that 30 years and has really had no no work done on it they're they're flying they're going now i did read an article that said uh toronto is still hurting a little bit in the condo sale but the condos i think in toronto are so expensive as it is where when you come out to durham and right now i i noticed that we do have uh a few condos coming on the market that does need work, I think, because a lot of people are having to put their loved ones in long-term care or people are going into um, uh, senior living. Okay. I'm trying to think of the word for it. <laughs> senior living building. So you're getting uh, a few things coming up because of that. And people aren't scared anymore. Typically, the buyers were, you know, just you'd see them rushing to the uh, nice newly renovated, but now I think because of the prices of the nice new renovated people are saying, ah, maybe I can buy one that needs work and just do, do the work over time as we have money. I, I feel that right now in the last week that I've been out there. Uh, so the best advice I can give is get all your paperwork ready so you can jump on something if you like it, because if you like it, there's at least 10 other people that like it too. All right, I have a question for you guys. Like, uh, again, I know you guys are more active right now, but in terms of, I remember like last year was kind of crazy in terms of like no conditions, like, like basically I'm buying it, I want it now. Like, like I'll take it, don't worry about financing, don't worry about inspection, don't worry about all that thing. Do you see you guys see that coming back at all or? Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. it's already started. Yeah. Like it started it, it, and that was where and we saw is, it coming. Yeah. The, yeah. this, this is where you need your team of professionals. Um, you need to, you need, as my wife was um, saying, is that uh, you know it's really important to have your people in place, to have your documents in place. So you need your team of professionals. You need your mortgage agent and all those documents all ready to go. Um, and you need to know exactly what you can qualify for under what type of conditions um, and that because um, there's two major parts to every qualification, right? There's you and there's the property. And so you're gonna really rely on the realtor to help you to get the property um, that will also qualify. Um, you got, you're gonna have to have your home inspector ready to go because um, you may not have that opportunity if this is your dream home and it happens to be other people's dream home, sometimes you may want to... Stuck, I'm sorry guys. Sometimes you may want to get your, um, your uh, um, home inspection done prior to putting Happen. in your offer. So given situations, that happens. So um, for example, um, if, if, there's an, if there is not an offer night, um, that that's there and so you don't really necessarily have to go after a number of people um, can your home inspector go with you and give you a general overview of the property um, so then uh, also so it does cost money but it's a little bit less because he's doing the quick inspection so he has you know his tools to check for moisture and stuff like that but he's not doing the full fledged um, one getting up on the roof you're gonna have a few little um, 
you're going to have a few areas that aren't fully checked, but he can eyeball them and tell you if he would have a concern that he would tell you, well, no, I got to get up there. Um, do you have your lawyer in place? And why it's good to have your lawyer in place is because if you're buying a condominium, you definitely want to know about the financial health of the of the condominium um, board and, and management. And so uh, the lawyer, typically they have like three days to check this over. But if you have that really good relationship with the lawyer and you get the offer, that get the um, status during the day, the lawyer could actually say, well, hey, I'm committed to you. I'm going to give you a response that day so that you can actually not drag things out. Because the longer you drag things out, the more opportunities people have to come in. And then you have multiple offer situation and you're bidding. And what our goal is in, in times like this is to stay away from the bidding when it comes to our buyers. When it comes to our sellers, we're going to delay you. There's no doubt every single system that we have in place is designed to get multiple offers. So I don't think on the, you know, I feel bad for a buyer's agent coming at us, but for us going at a buyer's agent and understand they're two completely different systems. When we go, when we're representing the buyer, which is what I'm talking about now, and we're going for that home, we want to really speed the process up so that nobody else gets a chance to put an offer in or the agent the listing agent, if they have amazing systems in place to get multiple offers, then we want to um, not give them the time to do that. So having a lawyer in, in, in place that can maybe answer your questions because you're committed to them in that way. Having your insurance aid, um, agent that you're going to be used, of course, your realtor. And in, in some instances, and not in all, and we definitely love it when it, the, it is in place, your financial advisor. So that you really know what it is uh, that you're doing, what that financial track is, and everything that you're doing well, along with your mortgage and your financial picture along with the home is all working in the same direction. So having that team of professionals is really, really um, a big bonus. And we certainly, in a marketplace like this, um, where it's just heating up, I mean, I wouldn't say it's boiling hot. We're, we're, we're looking at about 50% of the properties are doing this. Um, and the 50% that are, are boiling and bubbling, I feel bad because it's basically it's a little bit random. But um, the other ones, when you do have a home and you're able to go in and do everything, if you have your team of professionals in place, you're going to have a much better chance to be able to get that home um, without a bidding war. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it and please let us know your thoughts in the comments as well as any questions you may have. We're live most Saturdays at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time so make sure you tune in. Thank you again for watching and remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so you can stay up to date on all our future uploads.